Hey, it's LSF here today, and today we're here to talk about a recall. And this recall is with the Toyota Tundra and the Lexus LX. So here we have the Canadian press release. It's saying that Toyota is conducting a safety recall on certain 2022 to 2023 Toyota Tundra gas model and the 2022 LX 600. So we're talking about 9,665 Toyotas and 314 Lexus vehicles. So the LX has already been, had one recall already, and the Tundra has, I don't know how many, there is a lot. So this seems to be uh, a lot of recalls recently for the Tundra. So they're saying that it's possibly that there's certain machining debris may not have been cleared from the engine when it was produced. And in the involved vehicle with higher engine load operations, this could lead to potential engine knocking, engine rough running, engine no start or loss of power in totality. So a loss of power when driving at high speeds can increase the risk of a crash. So that is why this is a safety recall. So they're currently developing a remedy for this issue. But really, when you think of it, are they going to start taking apart the engine block and replacing the cylinders and stuff? I'm not too sure. Wouldn't it just be easier to just replace the engine? Everybody gets a new engine, but then it means it's an expensive recall. Well, I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'll am i be really hesitant if they tell me that they're just going to take things apart and then clear, clean it up and see what the damage is and then just replace the block. Um, I'm not sure if I trust the dealership to do that. We'll have to see. I'm hoping that this one will be a, an engine replacement, but then that's very costly replacement. So for Canada, we're looking at it, it's about 10,000 vehicles. We're going to quickly switch over to the U.S. and look at how many we're talking about there. So we switch over to the U.S. press release, and it's a little bit different here. It says 2022 to 2023 Toyota Tundra and the LX. So they didn't say what model year of the LX here. And they're saying about 102,000. So with the Canadian one, you're talking about almost 111,000 vehicles. That's a lot. So 111,000 vehicle engine replacements, that's going to be very costly. So I was able to get a hold of the Toyota version of the recall information that is sent to principals, general managers, service managers, and parts managers. So you can see here it says 2022, 2023, and it does say production period, November 2021 to mid-February 2023. So which means 2024 gets produced mid-February 2023 and on, but then those are not recalled. Don't know why, but uh, we will have to see. Did they figure it out in mid-2023? And that's why 2024 models are not impacted? Hmm, I'm not sure. The reason why is it seems like there's a lot of 2024 model year people are seeing that they're also seeing similar issues. So we may expect to see 2024 model years are going to be expanded in this recall or there'll be a new recall for 2024. Maybe they just don't want to show over like three, 220 something thousand and they just wanted to keep it at 100,000. I don't know. So at this point, Toyota is saying that in around July timeframe, owners will be getting information from their mail, but I believe a lot of owners have already received the notification on the Toyota app or Lexus owners getting it on the Lexus app already. So we look here, this is the 2022 Toyota Tundra and you can see that, let's see how many recalls are we talking about right here. So they've already issued nine recalls on the Tundra and this will be the 10th. Going back to the complaints, you can see that there's 28 complaints about engine problems. And when you look at this, it says when accelerating from a stop, rolling stop, the truck has dangerously throttle lag. And they addressed it with the, the dealership. But when you look at it here, it says while merging, the engine stalled. And then here, so they, they do say that they believe Toyota knows about engine issues on the early engines and not informing customers. So this 2022 does talk about that. They had the engine failure and they, the two turbos had to be replaced and there was a catastrophic engine failure totaling $24,000 for the truck. So definitely an expensive replacement. 
So if we continue down here, you'll start seeing that it says low in power. So definitely we'd see that there's 28 recalls or 28 issues, complaints from owners of 2022 model year. Let's look at 2023. So for the 2023, there's been 11 complaints um, about the engine, and I'm not going to go through everything. And then let's go to 2024, and we can see here 2024 three reports of engine issues. And you can do you can read them, and it does say that when you put on the accelerator, there's no effect on the engine, meaning it lost power already. So there's hesitation. On, when you do the acceleration, someone got to check engine light. So definitely we are seeing this is a problem. So I think what Toyota has done is they saw a lot of these problems and started investigating what happened. And then what they look at is, okay, a lot of engine failures, so they had to go back. And I think they actually got these vehicles. And then when they took them apart, they start seeing that there's engine debris. So then they went back to the manufacturing line and then try to figure out what happened. Follow me on Instagram at LSFT videos. You can see updates on my experience with the NX450H Plus, which may not be shown on any future videos. You can reach out to me via direct messaging if you have any questions on your Lexus. If you like this video, you can provide me feedback in the comments below, like this video, share it with your friends. This definitely will help with the YouTube algorithms. Press the subscribe button and bell icon and get notified when new videos show up. And lastly, if you want to support me further, you can provide me a super thanks. Or visit my Amazon storefront before you purchase anything from Amazon. And or you can purchase products from the list on the items that I've been using with my vehicle or at home at no extra cost to you. And now let's continue with the video. One thing I'm a little bit confused, okay, because when we go back to the recall, it does say Toyota and Lexus vehicles. And we have to keep in mind one thing that the Toyota vehicles, so you can see that Toyota Motor Manufacturing Alabama is the one that actually creates the Tundra and the Sequoia twin turbo V6. So first thing is, why is the Sequoia not recalled as well? It uses the same engine it's built in the same plant so we may start seeing more recalls in different models like the sequoia probably would have the same engine issue but then when you think about it machine debris in the engine and when you look at it if the tundra and the sequoias were made in alabama why is the lx recalled as well and the lx is actually built in the tahara plant in japan so are you telling me that both plants have made the same mistake? And maybe the one in, in, in Japan actually figured it out in 2022, and that's why they're only recalling a small amount of LXs? I really don't know. This seems to be a little bit fishy. But anyways, when you look at this, it does seem like this is a big recall, an expensive recall, and hopefully we'll get more information, like in July timeframe. And if I do get more information, and if you're interested, a new video will be coming out. So before we close out, we can see here that the Land Cruiser, the Sequoia Hybrid, the Tundra, the Tundra Hybrid, the LS500, LX600, and the GX550 uses the same engine. So they're only produced really in two plants, that's my understanding. And if that's the case, will these other models that were produced around the same time frame have the same issue so are they going to be recalled as well we will have to like see what toyota and lexus will be doing but at this point we definitely think that the gx550 will not see this issue but how about the others time will tell and if it if it does come up it'll be a bigger recall as well i hope that you found that this video was informative and until next video drive safely Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please comment, like, share this video. And if you want to see more videos like this, you can subscribe to my channel and press that bell icon to get notified when new videos are posted. And if you like to support this channel, you can provide me a super thanks. And until next time, cheers.